What's up guys, Brian Tong here with CNET.com. We're here in front of the doors of E3 2009. They're just about to open them up where the Dude Fest will begin. What's up guys, Brian Tong here at E3 2009 where the lights, the booths, and all the babes are back here. We have over 40,000 attendees. There's two massive halls with all the games you can think of. And let's just get to some of the announcements. Nintendo kind of put their stamp with everything Mario coming this year. Let's check it. First up, the sequel to Mario Galaxy, Super Mario Galaxy 2 is coming. It's probably one of the best games on the system. And they also announced Super Mario Brothers for the Wii. It's four player action. You can pick up your friend, throw him around, and have a lot of co-op play. They were also really pushing RPGs on the DS platform. Now you're gonna get Mario and Luigi's Bowser's Inside Story. It was over in Asia, but now it's coming over to North America and the UK, as well as Golden Sun for the DS, which will be coming out in 2010. You know Nintendo is all about hardware as well, and they gave us a really brief peek at the Wii Vitality Sensor. You basically can put your finger in it, it senses your body, your pulse, uh, I don't know, we didn't really see much other than that. And then also we've got another demo of Wii Motion Plus. We saw this last year, but they used examples of how you could shoot a bow and arrow and also be more specific with shooting basketballs. Another upgrade to Nintendo's line is Wii Fit Plus. You can now be your own personal trainer to customize your workouts, as well as there's 10 mini games, one included bouncing your butt against a bunch of balloons. Nintendo also wanted to showcase that they do have hardcore titles, so they showed off Sega's The Conduit. It's a first-person shooter. They also announced Resident Evil's The Dark Side Chronicles will also be coming, as well as a little preview of Dead Space Extraction. Now, the big announcement that sent a few chills up my spine was the announcement of Metroid Other M. It's set to release out in 2010, but the big thing about this is Metroid is coming to the Wii, and it's a game that everyone will want to get their little hands on. Now, out of all the announcements here at E3, probably the biggest one was from Sony with their Sony PSP Go. And yeah, I know it was totally leaked, but it doesn't matter. This is a device that we can all get our hands on real soon. It'll be $249 and 249 euros and available on October 1st in North America and in Europe. It also was showcased with a few exclusive games specifically for the PSP. Gran Turismo is coming to the PSP with over 800 different cars, 35 different tracks, and again, that will be exclusive to the PSP. Also, Hideo Kojima came to showcase Metal Gear Solid. This will also be an exclusive, and it'll happen after Metal Gear Solid 3. That's slated to come out sometime in 2010. Probably the biggest noise that everyone was waiting for was God of War 3. They showed gameplay, it kept us suspended, and there was a lot of blood and guts and all the good stuff you'd expect. And another big coup, there's been a battle of who gets Final Fantasy. Sony showcased a preview of Final Fantasy 14. It'll be online and exclusive to the PS3. And in another example of the arms race that is the console industry, Sony showcased their own motion controller. It was a tech demo, but it showed a one-to-one -one relationship using a kind of engineered controller as well as their iToy. And they had some really cool things like shooting bow and arrows, but the physics and the graphics and how you actually there use these go. things is what was really compelling. Hey, Cooley, I bet you never did a car tech like this before. Uh. So what's the chances like a guy like me could actually ask one of you ladies out? Can you hear me up there? Hello? Microsoft came to show everyone that they have a controller to be reckoned with as well as showcase all their great games. There was a lot of software announcements, a lot of Xbox Live announcements, but the biggest one of them all was Project Natal. Now this is their 3D motion sensor camera. We heard something like this in the rumors, but this actually uses your body as a controller. It has voice recognition and facial recognition, and there was some amazing stuff here. They showed how you could use your body to like paint a canvas and change the different paint colors with your voice. They also showed how a person could interact with an avatar that could read their emotions as if you were interacting with a real person. You've got to put these goggles on. Goggles? Put them on like this. There is no ETA date when the Project Natal will actually go live, but they'll be compatible with your current Xbox and future Xbox 360s going forward. I'm not feeling too good. I need some help here. I need some help. Oh, hey, ladies. I'm, I'm not feeling good. Oh, here, here. One, one over here, one over here. I'm, gonna, I'm not feeling good. All right, so there you have it, E3 2009, great show. 
Brian Tom for CNET.com. I want to go! Hi, I'm Molly Wood, host of The Buzz Report, the show about the tech news that everybody's talking about. See it every Friday in high def at CNET.com slash buzzreport.